so Rob Clues made a statement here. We're getting a lot of uh, comments here on uh, YouTube, and I try to I try to read them all. I can't I can't respond to everybody here on YouTube, but I'm gonna try. But Rob said something that I wanted to address, and I guess we'll, we'll address it again tonight on. Um, this on might, Ringside Report Radio. This might be an ongoing thing where you keep talking about it kind of thing. Yeah, this will be a thing that probably won't ever die. But, uh, so last week on Ringside Report Radio, we had uh, Olivier Aubé-Mercier in studio. And we were talking about that YouTube guy, Logan Paul, right? right? He had a boxing match and it did really well on YouTube. They sold a bunch of pay-per-views and people were talking about this guy and maybe fighting in the UFC or something crazy which is kind of crazy and like by the way i'm on youtube johnny's on youtube and that guy logan paul's on youtube if you see this and i'm sure he gets he gets way more views than we do right he's I, like from what i've heard yeah. he's like very popular but if you see this you sucker i will fight you i will beat the hell out of you okay come fight me or come fight johnny how much does he weigh i don't care i don't care Fight me, fight Johnny, uh, or fight AJ if you want to. AJ will fight you. <laughs> AJ will fight you right now. I'll fight you right now too. I mean, yeah. I would too, but hope he's not too small. I feel kind of bad being a little guy. No, you don't. No, not really. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You love it. Anyway, so this guy Logan Paul, we were talking about him on the show and saying maybe Olivier could fight him. And so AJ, what did AJ do? He tweeted out to uh, Paul Logan that uh, all he was like challenged him to a fight. <laughs> now who's Paul Logan? Paul Logan is not the guy that we were referring to on the show, right? Right. He's an actor. He's on the, the show uh, The Horde, I think. I don't know. So Paul Logan is some actor. He's got like several followers on Twitter. He's like, verified, you know. And uh, AJ is uh, harassing him on Twitter. And Johnny North, you like this a lot. You're like, I can't believe AJ did this. Well, just like... Johnny is very entertained by AJ, by the way. Johnny really likes uh, AJ and all the crazy stuff AJ does. Johnny's AJ's biggest fan. In fact, the reason that AJ is full-time with Fred and I on Ringside Report Radio, one of the reasons is because Johnny said AJ should be on the show full-time. Very entertaining, but Wally was the other reason as well, so... Yeah, Wally said he should be on full-time as well. I, I just couldn't believe, like, you, you can click on the account, like, why did you make that mistake? I, I just don't... You can ask him that question, like, if you just click on the account, you can clearly tell. Like, I, I don't understand how you made that mistake. Like, I, I get how you screwed up the name and all that. But... Well, you've seen at Danny Bruck on Twitter, right? Like, you see the nonsense that he posts. It's It's pure nonsense. He doesn't really do Twitter very well. I tell him to tweet something out at like 12.05, and at 12.35, he's like, okay, okay, I just put it out there. It takes him 30 minutes to put a tweet out, and he doesn't even do it well, and half the time it's just pure nonsense. You try to read his tweets, and they make no tweets, and they make no sense. Let's go to his Twitter feed right now. That should be a regular feature on uh, Dave and Johnny Live. <laughs> what did AJ tweet this week, and can it make any sense?